Hey, what's up, everybody? It's your boy King K, and welcome to an Elden Ring video. Now, this game has been a lot of fun since I started playing it on stream yesterday, and uh, I'm actually making this video to help a couple of players uh, with a big issue that I've seen. Now, I've been playing this game a tiny bit off stream, you know, just leveling up, collecting as many runes as I can, and actually, more than anything else, searching for some better weaponry in order to progress further into the game. After all, I need all the help I can get because I am the physical embodiment of a fucking Dark Souls noob. Anyways, within my off-stream journey, I found myself within the dragon burned ruins all the way across this riverside. Now, firstly, I would not suggest uh, going in this area whatsoever, considering there's a fucking dragon that spawns here, and it's literally right next to spawn area, so really not good for a low-level player such as myself. I am currently only level 36, uh, not very leveled up whatsoever. And besides the whole dragon, I would not suggest going in this area anyways, considering the fact that there is a massive fort just further down the road, and these two massive trolls pulling this cart, with a ton of troops behind them. So, definitely not a noob-friendly area, or a new player-friendly area as a whole. There's also a possibility that when attacking the guys down here, that there's a massive bear that spawns as well. So, Heed my advice, I would not suggest coming here as a low-level player, rather progress along the path. Seriously? You wanna joust, my guy? Let's go. Let's go! Trust me, I'm leveling up enough for you. Joust it. Okay, I don't wanna come here, apparently can't ride a horse. Trust me. Okay. Still a new weapon to me, a bit slower than what I'm used to, so apologies for that. Just a quick side note, those trolls that are pulling that massive cart, if there isn't a massive patrol following them, it is actually really, really easy to get the cart behind. All you need to do is stagger one of the trolls and the cart will stop long enough to... Bitch, long enough for you to collect the chest. Anyways, the point of this video is, once you come to the dragon burnt ruins, there will be a couple of guards and uh, dogs that you need to get rid of in order to get to the chest down below. And as well as some rats. Now overall, the ghoulish guards that are protecting this area are really not hard to defeat whatsoever. The dogs might do a bit of damage and that's about it. Mentioned the gods might be a bit of a, uh, a tricky situation, except for the ghoulish gods over here, literally, well, they pretty much don't do anything. They're really easy to get rid of. So off of some research online, I found that you can find yourself a twin blade within the chest down here. However, the chest over here that's been going around on the internet a lot is uh, actually a trap chest right through there. As for the rats, also not a really tricky situation to get rid of. Especially if you've got yourself some ashen uh, spirits like what I do over here. But also by getting them up here, you could pretty much just feed yourself some free ruins because they kind of get, you know, suffocated into this tiny little area and it's actually really easy to just collateral damage them. So this chest right here has been deemed the chest trap to hell or some shit like that. Uh, a lot of people are like really afraid of it and... Uh, get trapped often and get sent over to this trapped area within uh, like this fiery area over on this side i believe it's like right here the celia crystal tunnel and people have really been struggling with it and i'm just here to kind of like help you guys out as a fellow noob myself uh just to get out of it really easily let me just send these big boys right back and uh let me show you real quick so this trap chest uh, emits a quite a bit of smoke which teleports you to this trapped area. Now just before I show you how to actually get out of that trapped area, it is actually possible to avoid getting trapped entirely by quickly dodging once the smoke emits from the chest, like, like this. Pretty simple. It won't get you trapped, you won't get sent over there, and uh, if there is any more chests like this, concerned there isn't any chests that kill you such as previous Dark Souls games, uh, it's really easy to avoid and actually it, it takes a it, it takes a minute before you actually get trapped however if you are a bit slow and not paying full attention and you do get ensnared in this transporter trap again i don't know why you'd want to be in this area as a lower level or newbie player it's really not the easiest considering there's a fucking dragon and a lot of things that will whoop your ass but anyways when you get ensnared you get into this crystal tunnel it seems like right over here 
And once you get a snare in the trap, you cannot be teleported out to another grace because, well, you've been trapped. So you're kind of stuck here and you kind of have to find your way out. The only way to get out is by getting to another side of grace and that'll allow you to teleport. So only once you rest at another grace, you'll be able to get out of here. Generally, the crystal guys have quite a bit of health. These guys like this one up here walking and these guys right next to me over here, they do quite a bit of damage and they are quite uh, hefty in terms of health in the beginning part. But generally the biggest issue is that spider reaper skeleton looking dude. And there's another one right above me as well. Man, I really have beautiful blue eyes. So people have been really stressed out by this area, apparently, like they have to fight through everything and it's really difficult, but it's really not. Now, I just like to say that this guy right above you will immediately be aggroed, okay? Because you spawn right below him, he notices you and he's immediately aggro. That guy further on is not aggroed until you get down the path. Next up, these guys right here will not attack you unless you steal their crystals or attack them first. Anyways, getting out of this area is really simple as long as you try to avoid aggroing anybody. Basically, you just follow the path down here and you'll see that the path extends through a tunnel to the left over there. Now again, this guy above you might be aggro. However, if he's not, the other guy further on, right over there, will definitely be aggro or possibly be aggro if he sees you running towards this way. Now, I would suggest that you have full health by doing this uh, or at least have yourself armored up because you're going to need to run for your fucking life in a moment. As you guys can see there, he's immediately aggro because he sees me over here. Now, I will say that this guy does a ton of damage with that spell or whatever the hell he's shooting at you. So basically, just run for your fucking life down this path further on. Try to dodge as much as possible. And you'll find yourself through this little tunnel over here. Once you get to this point, uh, you'll basically be safe because he won't be able to hurt you anymore. And he will stop being aggro after a little while. Descend the ladder over here and you'll find yourself a beautiful little grace right here. You can pass it up and once you exit the tunnel through this way, you'll find yourself in a dangerous area. Uh, as they say, a hellish area because it kind of does look like hell and it's rotting and whatever else. I have actually found this area and I came to this area because I killed a sleeping dragon for 50,000 runes, uh, which is a really cool and simple trick. And it won't like fight back whatsoever. And once you have rested at that grave site though and exited through the tunnel, you are able to teleport once again and you're free from this uh, crap chest to hell. I think I found the information on the twin blade from Game Radar. Let me just say that you guys are really, really trolly or really dumb. I don't, I, I don't really know. Update your information. But also guys, don't worry. As a fellow noob, that was really not that difficult. You just got to avoid. I barely got damaged and I... Uh, I actually didn't get damaged at all. Yeah, that's kind of that simple. Don't go in that area. The dragon will eat you alive. The trolls will fucking smash you. And the enemies, well, there's a lot of them. Anyways, I think that's going to be all for this Elden Ring tip video. It's really not that difficult. I also never expected to ever make a Dark Souls Elden Ring-esque tip video. I mean, I'm a noob, so why would I? By the way, that dragon over there has one of the most beautiful and gruesome introductions as dragons ever it's incredible this game is incredible god is beautiful horses ass